To edit that topic heading, just first of all turn your editing on, top right. There's another button over here, turn editing on. So you know your editing's on because you see these icons and you see that menu over there. Now we want to edit this topic heading here. You'll notice it's topic 1, 2, 3, 4. So click on the edit icon underneath. It's a little pen. Right, then to change the heading, you first uncheck this. If you leave that there, then it'll be topic 1, 2, 3, 4. You click that and you change this to your topic or section name. Now you cannot change the font or color of that, so just leave it. In this section, put a little summary, a little note about what's going to happen in the topic. And if you need to, you can add equations using that little button there, or you can add symbols, tables, what have you. Now it's also quite nice to have a picture, and a picture goes in best if you start the very first thing, so top left. You start with your image and then you right align it. Now to put an image in, you click on that icon, and here you can either use the URL, in other words the web address of a, an image, or you can upload it there. So I'll put a URL in here, and then click in this box and put in a description. Go to the second tab, the Appearance tab, because that's where you do your alignment, and here you change this to right, and it shows you. Now the great thing about this is the text will go down, as well as the resources and the activities. I like to set my width to 200 for all the images on the page. It makes it look uniform all down the page. And then you click Insert. If you're in Firefox, you can click and drag this to suit if you want to adjust the size of that. If you're in one of the other browsers, you might not be able to. Right, then further down, this is where you can restrict access. In other words, you can hide the topic until students have finished a certain amount of work, which will be useful for topic 2 and onwards, and we will save changes. And there it is, so you can now go on and edit topic 2, 3, 4, heading, summary, and little image, image the same width to make it look a little more uniform throughout.